This is the Frida Hartley shelter in Johannesburg. For almost a century, it's been helping destitute women seeking refuge from abuse and violence. Now these women say they've had enough and are joining thousands of others in Pretoria to march against abuse, rape and femicide. The reason why I'm joining the march is because my sister was killed by her boyfriend. Uh, I was also involved in, a, um, in sexual abuse, also in, um, I was abused by my, my boyfriend and my ex fiance So from today I'm saying enough is enough for women. We can't be killed or abused as women. In 2012 I was 18, I was raped by three men and they didn't get arrested. So the reason why I'm doing this today because I, I don't want what happened to me to happen to other women out there and to my two kids because I have two daughters. United in their cause, they're marching through the streets of Pretoria to voice their demands and give a memorandum at the union buildings, which is the seat of government. We have 24 demands, a framework of 24 key demands, which represent 24 years of post-democracy. And we're saying that for the past 24 years post-democracy, women are not safe, we live in fear, and we need the government to give us a date as to when we can sit down and meet. And we want that response on the 9th of August because we have nothing to celebrate as women. The match is very important because we've lost so many women uh, that we know personally uh, who have been brutally murdered by their partners, by their intimate partners. But most importantly, we are fighting for our little girls, we are fighting for our nieces. We are marching so that our mothers don't have to go through this, our sisters, our friends. This is one of several marches across the country and the Sadak region to highlight the daily struggles faced by women. Julie Shara, CGTN. Pretoria, South Africa.